97.1 FM, The Morning Drive. I'm Pete McMurray. Well, she had 12 children. And her favorite is on the radio every single morning. <laughs> Mother's Day is Sunday. We'd like to welcome to the show Betty Ann McMurray, my mother. Mama. Hi, honey. And you know what? You are one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> Mom, first of all, I love telling the story about when I was born when dad dropped you off at the hospital. So I'm number six in the family. So my mother knew when she was ready to have her baby. She waited until the very last minute. So she knew at that point. So my dad gets her in the car. We drive down to St. Francis Hospital in Peoria, Illinois. My dad drops her off, gives her a kiss. I'll be in in a second. So he drives up the parking deck, drives around a little bit, finally finds a spot, takes his time. He walks into the hospital and he says, I'm looking for my wife. She's pregnant. And they said, sorry, Mr. McMurray, no, uh, your wife pregnant? Are you sure? And he said, yes, my wife is pregnant. And they said, no, she already had the baby. (laughs) So he walks into the room and my mom is there holding me and she named me after her OBGYN, Doc Pete. Yes, that's true. (laughs) (laughs) Now, Mrs. McMurray, a a lot of moms, they spend a lot of time thinking about the name. They might want to do a family name. They might want to do a name that was special on TV or in a book they once read. Uh But you went with your female doctor's name. But you have to remember, Scott, there were other boys before Peter, and I did use family names for them. So by the time you got to Pete, you just said, ah, let's just name him something and we'll move on. (laughs) Well, no, I, I didn't. Quite say that. But. <laughs> this is how it. This is how it went down. Brother Steve, who was number three in the family, and she turned to Doc Pete and said, "Hey, if I keep having kids, I'm going to have to name one after you." Well, number six comes along, and she had to make good on her promise. So that was That's it. Right. Right. That's right. <laughs> she, she fully admits it. I'm named after a gynae. Mrs. McMurray. There are a ton of morning drivers listening right now that uh, completely blanked out that uh, this Sunday is Mother's Day. Can you give them one or two tips on what? our morning drivers could get for their mother's last minute? First of all, they should be sure and tell their moms how much they love them and appreciate them. Because moms do a lot of things that people don't notice or overlook. And uh, I think the moms would appreciate that, if nothing else. Just being told how much they love them. Call your mom. Tell her that you love them. And um, mom... 12 kids doing laundry every single day. I was in a fist fight every single day with uh, your sons, my brothers. How did you do it, 12 kids? I didn't think about it too much. If you spend too much time thinking, you'll never do anything. (laughs) Well, I wanted to uh, wish you a happy Mother's Day, and uh, I'm a little bit mad at you because I have to put up with Pete every day. He's sort of a pain in my side, but because he's your child, I will allow him an exception, and and, uh, thank you for bringing him into this world. We're all just so thankful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott. I knew I liked you. <laughs> Mom, happy Mother's Day. I love you, and I'll uh, talk to you on Sunday. Okay, honey. I love you, too. All right. Take all care. Right. There she Bye. is. 12 children, Betty Ann. Wow. It's 97.1 FM, the morning drive.